Mr. Mr. Speaker. I call on TC Korohiki Satley. Mr. Speaker, fellow youth MPs, uh, distinguished guests of the House, I open this general debate speech with a question. How are we supposed to succeed in a system historically built against us? We stand here today among institutions which were founded upon the bones of our tipuna. And to brush off the blatant racism I, as tikanga Māori, has received is doing a gross injustice to the struggles they endured to gain equal footing in this country. In fact, it's only over the past 100 years that we have begun to see institutionalised discrimination become undone at a systematic level. Now, this is not an arbitrary number, ladies and gentlemen. It represents the proximity we as youth face to a past of institutionalised oppression. But, you know, does this represent the state of our system today? Well, meeting with the Korangatahi within my community leads me to believe so. In fact, on a daily basis, youth are facing ostracisation within their communities on a basis of ethnicity, on an issue of race or, or ethnic makeup, but some of many issues, Mr. Speaker, we face as a marginalised youth in a modern day setting. And while many of these issues are pertinent to a global stage, they pertain to us here in Aotearoa specifically, as was evident following uh, the 15th of March attacks. And might I add to all our fellow members of the Muslim community who have been adversely affected by the events that have transpired this year, uh, in solidarity, I offer a quote. <laughs> Whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. A quote epitomizing how many of us have reached the stage we stand at today. And might I remind the House, and might I remind the Kawanatanga or Aotearoa that minorities are not just statistical analytics on a consensus report. Minorities are a people with verifiable history. Although mostly censored under the lens of colonialism, we maintain our beliefs to stand equally among the majority, and we preserve our hitori. Well, whoever we may be in summation, we're voicing them here, despite colonial efforts to suppress them. In fact, for us to even stand here in Te Whare Parimata is testament to the boundaries we have overcome as minorities. But to succeed as a minority in New Zealand, it's not just merited through mere recognition. Success is celebrating Māoridom. It's giving equal opportunity for wahine to succeed in a growing job market. And as an ethnically diverse nation, it's absolving Eurocentric curriculum. It's representing foreign culture in the mainstream. It's normalizing kōrero te reo Māori into the coming generations. So as I conclude this speech, ladies and gentlemen, I leave with the House a statement that diversity should not become our adversity. Mr. Speaker, I call on Eperu Sau. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Sorry. First and foremost, 